Chapter 8, Question 7, Babcock and Marx in 2010, reviewed survey data from 2003 to 2005 and obtained an average population value equal to 14 hours per week spent studying by full-time students at four-year colleges in the United States. To determine whether this average has changed in the past 10 years, researchers selected a sample of 64 students, 64 of today's college students, and obtained an average of M equals 12.5 hours. If the standard deviation for the distribution is lowercase sigma equals 4.8 hours per week, does this sample indicate a significant change in the number of hours spent studying? Use a two-tailed test with an alpha of 0.05. So using the, the four-step process, step one is we need to state our hypotheses. So our null is always that there is no difference. So that the, the and our population value, that the mean of the new population is still 14. Our alternate is that it's not 14. Step two, our alpha level is 0.05. And what we need to do is, this is a two-tailed test. So we're going to have alpha divided by two in each of our tails. So if we go to the back of the book and we look up in the proportion in the tail, that is equal to 0 0.0250. That is a z-score of plus or minus, because it's two-tailed, plus or minus 1.96. Step three is we need to calculate our z-score. Before we can do that, we need to calculate the standard error. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the standard deviation divide by the square root of n. So the square root of 64 is 8. 4.8 divided by 8 is 0 0.6. And we'll plug this into our z-score formula. So we're going to have the mean subtract the mean of the population divided by the standard error. So we're going to have 12.5 subtract 14 divided by 0 0.6. So we've got negative 1.5 divided by 0 0.6. And that is two point, negative 2.5. Step four, what we need to do is compare the value that we calculated in step three to the value that we found in step four. And if we do that, if we take this and we color code it in pink, this value up here was negative 1.96 and positive 1.96. And our value is out here. It's more extreme. This is 2.5. So, 2.5, negative 2.5 is more extreme, it's less than negative 1.96, so our decision is we reject the null, accept the alternate, and we conclude that there is a significant change in the number of hours.